Not outside the previous Apple has officially launched the first MacBook Pro line with 16-inch screen, both powerful configuration with the new generation chip, has a large screen, whether this is worthy of the MacBook Pro Max 2019? The biggest difference that will probably be welcomed with compliments, is the new keyboard. The problematic butterfly keyboard is gone and replaced with the new Magic Keyboard, modeled after the familiar iMac Pro keyboard. And, of course, there's also a bigger screen. With this MacBook Pro Apple made the changes users have requested for a long time to turn it into one of the BEM to turn it into one of the best laptops in the world again. That basic configuration is actually quite powerful, rocking a 6-core Intel Core i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. For most users, you should really use this configuration, it will be more powerful for most users without having to go beyond the higher price. However, if you're a pro looking for the same kind of performance as the MacBook Pro, you can obviously fill this laptop with incredibly powerful hardware. You can upgrade the processor to an 8-core, 16-thread Intel Core i9 processor. And, if you need a bunch of RAM and storage capacity, you can get up to 64GB and 8TB. The most striking thing about the 16-inch MacBook Pro before you look at it is the new screen and keyboard. Now, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is bigger, but it's not a significant increase in size. But actually putting the 15-inch MacBook used to work next to this new model will recognize the difference clearly. And the screen above is a 16-inch Retina display with 3072 by 1920 resolution, with P3 color gamut and maximum brightness of 500 nits. It's not quite a 4K screen, it's an incredibly bright, detailed and colorful display, something Apple has named itself. Differences in size are subtle but noticeable. Technically even denser, but just barely. You won't notice much difference from the recent MacBook Pro, but true to Apple, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. The size difference of 0.6 inches retains the same logical resolution, so things will look a bit bigger than I would like. The keyboard also sees a physical exit key back with the MacBook Pro, which is great news for quite a few people, along with the dedicated Touch ID button. Of course, between the Touch ID button and the exit key is the escape next to the touch bar. Keyboard. Also been extended to 1mm, by about half the original keyboard found in 2015 and previous years. The feeling is also good when typing because Apple's improve haptic feedback. Types of keys of the spring return. The keyboard is quiet and very comfortable to type on. The keys are a bit smaller but do not make typing in them more difficult. The directional arrows are now being set correctly and the physical escape key is working again, making it easy to browse through open applications. On the sides of the keyboard are the front speakers, nothing new in terms of design. However the 16-inch however the 16-inch MacBook Pro 6 speaker in MacBook Pro with a subwoofer that supports force feedback. This allows MacBook Pro to create bass sound without external vibrations causing unwanted distortion. So, with the price not changing much but there are a lot of technological improvements on Apple's new MacBook Pro 16, this will be the most expected product in years. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.